Hi and welcome back or welcome to my All The Perfume YouTube channel. In this video I'll be reviewing perfumes from the Elizabeth and James collection. Stay tuned if you'd like more information on these scents. So Elizabeth and James is a brand from Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen. The perfumes were first launched in 2013 and the releases went up to 2017. For me, I found Nirvana Black in about 2015 and adored it. A sandalwood, vanilla, musk scent which just smells so good, really woody, really smoky and I parted ways with it. But then on my trips to Canada and America, testing these scents in Sephora was just so enjoyable. So I'm glad I kind of went back to them, refound them in the last year or so and my collection has grown. I'm so keen to film a video and talk about these because I just feel that they're going to be gone soon. Um, the brand aren't releasing any more fragrances as I can see and yeah I'd love other perfume lovers to give some of these a try while they're still around. So Nirvana Black and Nirvana White were the first launches from the line. Uh, with Nirvana Black you had that amazing sandalwood smoky scent I talked about and with Nirvana White, more of a white floral, as you would expect. So yeah, they were the first two, and then along followed the four fragrances I have here. So I'll review them individually and in the order they were released. So I want to talk a little bit about the bottles because they are a big part of my enjoyment with this line. I mean, they just feel so luxe. They kind of remind me like of a hip flask. Um, you've got here like a gold detail either side of the bottle, and it says Elizabeth and James on the edge there. and they are satisfying to hold. I love this like rough texture. They're a good size, so you can hold them and spray them easily. I think sometimes you can get a novelty bottle, but that perhaps then it's hard to spray and it's just annoying. Whereas I don't get that of these. This is just these are just enjoyable. Um, with the name of the scent being written on the side, or actually it just says Elizabeth and James Nirvana. I kind of want to stack them like books. Um, yeah, they're really fun. I really like them, and it's. Yeah, just something I wanted to talk about as part of why I love this collection so much. I haven't kept the boxes. Um, with Bourbon, actually, I didn't get a box because it was from a reseller, but they were quite simple and sleek looking. So yeah, they were nice too, um, but not something I needed to keep particularly. It's just the actual bottles that I really love. So with a name like Nirvana Bourbon, this scent that I'll review now, launched in 2015, definitely caught my attention. I managed to find myself a nice big bottle from a reseller on Facebook who wasn't overcharging, I'm really grateful for that and this is just my perfect winter scent I adore it and it's a scent that when I come to the time when I launch my own fragrance I will be heavily influenced by because this is just the sort of thing I love for winter let's give it a test I love it I feel like I can already smell it before I even have this is just beautiful boozy addictive like a winter coat scent I'm starting to get these little things that I kind of um, always think of with certain fragrances and winter coat scent is this for me. This is that kind of thing you want to smell on yourself while outdoors to feel kind of comforted and be reminded that you're in those colder months and all the coziness that kind of comes with that. I was really surprised to find that this has tuberose in it because for me this is all about the bourbon vanilla and the oak. With the Elizabeth James scents um, you get a really kind of simple rundown of notes, just, just three listed here but I mean, it's vanilla and oak for me, this completely, and the tuberose must be doing some kind of magic that I can't quite detect, but it's your perfect woody, boozy scent. And yeah, in this packaging, that vibe kind of really suits, doesn't it? Um, it smells so good. Um, I'm reminded a little bit of the Adam Levine for her perfume. It's that kind of syrupy feeling. That one has benzoin in it, which this doesn't, but if you like that one, then you should like this as well. Yeah, Nirvana Bourbon. Um, I'm really giving it all the way up front here because this is my favourite of the line and I would really recommend it. The next fragrance is Nevada Rose. So Rose isn't a love for me usually, but I was in collector mode and just had to try this. In Nevada Rose, you've got vetiver and geranium along with the rose note. And I'm gonna give this a test. Let's go for this arm here. Again, I get like a boozy quality from this, uh, much like with Nirvana Bourbon. It smells really good and the more I've tested it, I've kind of gone on a journey with it, but what I'm kind of initially kind of picking up as like a boozy quality is actually more of like a real um, freshness of like, if you're kind of smelling flowers in a vase and their stalks, it's that 
real kind of heavy floral, the geranium must add to that kind of feeling. It feels very concentrated and very well done. And of course you'll like this if you're a fan of rose scents. It's just, yeah, it's, it's very strong. It's very pretty. Um, you'll like this if you like your florals, of course. You'll like this if you like the Stella McCartney rose scent. I'll include a little picture of that. That's really good. And this yeah, certainly reminds me of it. Um, I'm happy to report that this is still available on Fragrance X, as is Nirvana Bourbon. And the prices aren't too bad either. Yeah, just if this sounds tempting to you, worth getting into it now. I'm not normally one to recommend a blind buy, but if you're interested in these for the price they currently are, yeah, worth checking out. That's Nirvana Rose. The next scent is Nirvana French Grey, which is perhaps a bit of a break away from the other scents in the line. This is a clean, fresh, very simple scent, and you've got lavender in here, neroli and musk. And for me, this is all about the lavender. I really enjoy this one. Um, it was around for a really good price on eBay for a long time. So it'd been on my wish list for a while. And then it kind of disappeared. Like you can't really find it now easily. So if this interests you, this is one to look out for on your reselling sites. Um, let's give this a test. My sleeves are rolled up. Probably not a great look, but necessary without the blotters I so badly need. Um, oh, it's so clean. And I've actually read reviews where um, people have said this is like a kind of laundry detergent feel. But I like that. I like that difference that, um, that you can capture that in a fragrance. It, it smells good. It's heavy, lavender, bright from the neroli, pretty. Um, with a little musk. I mean, I, I don't think this is the the same longevity as the other scents in the line, but it doesn't really need to be because for me, this is a calming, soothing bedtime scent. I mean, how great to put this on and, I don't know, get into your bed when your sheets are first cleaned. Um, but equally, I took this to the spa last year and felt it really suited that vibe. I wanted lavender, I wanted calming, and it was really good for that. Um, a little more masculine, some would argue, than the others. Um, but I, yeah, I get a lot of enjoyment from this one. French Grey, a really good lavender musk scent when you want something a bit simple. Yeah, recommend it. Nirvana Amethyst is our next fragrance. And so with this one, I really love that bottle. Can you see that purple there coming through? And I don't know how I didn't buy this sooner because with the notes, this would have been the sort of thing that I would have blind bought. This is tobacco, incredible, honeysuckle, cedar and spices. So this is everything I love in like a kind of wintry, um, heavier scent. Let's give it a spray. Definitely been looking forward to this one. Okay, so. Oh, I really love this. And when I first added this to my collection, I just didn't give it another chance. I'm not sure what was happening. I didn't get from it what I get now. And it's not because it's light. It's certainly not light. It just, maybe I've been testing other since that day, but this is beautiful, like rich, quality kind of niche level scent and yesterday I kind of well I did I layered it with CKB I kind of felt like it was a sort of follow-on um do you know what I think it was almost the lavender in CKB and the fact this is purple that was a connection in my mind but yeah it's not really good I'd say with this you get like a kind of booziness like you do with Nirvana bourbon but brought over into the sort of the spicy realm it's rich and more for its spiciness than it is just for that booziness. Um, it's really beautiful. I love honeysuckle in scents and I think it really balances out those heavier notes in here. So yeah, amethyst is a heavy rec recommendation from me. Definitely worth checking out. I think I could safely say that a bottle I used to own, the Nirvana Black, is also on my wish list. I really wish I hadn't parted ways with that. It was such an enjoyable scent for me. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Perhaps I thought it's a little stronger than I usually wear and just wasn't wearing it enough, but yeah, I really wish I had that back. And when I see it for a slightly more reasonable price, or if I get lucky with a reseller, I'll be buying it again. But with the Nirvana White, I think I could, unless it lands through my door, I think I could kind of live without that one, um, unless the collector vibe takes over. But yeah, Nirvana Black, firmly on the wish list. So thank you for watching my reviews of the Elizabeth and James perfume collection. I've really enjoyed this. I can't wait to hear if you've tried any of these or which ones you own or perhaps which ones you'd like to try now. Please do like this video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to check out the links to all the other places to find me 
Instagram, TikTok, and my blog. I will include the links where you can purchase these. And yeah, I hope you um, are able to go and find them for yourself. Um, I would say these remind me a little bit of the Ash by Ashley Benson range, which I've reviewed previously. That kind of same vibe and feel coming through and quality of sense. So yeah, you might enjoy these if you like the sound of that line too. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.